Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm back with one of my favorite books, uh, my wine book. If you're watching my videos regularly, you know that I'm altering this uh, old book from secondhand store and I have few pages done already so I think we could actually uh, do something else today uh, maybe a bit of a collage art journaling stenciling i have read a comment on my social media and art journaling you have been asking for so that's what i'm gonna do i think today uh, i have uh, I, I like to continue maybe so what i'm gonna do is this page is thick enough i like that well it could be thicker actually oh actually you know what i'm gonna use the one that is here with the texture uh, left over so maybe i'm gonna use it so i'm gonna start off by just gluing together a few pages because i like to work with my pages being thick enough and if it's a book that the pages are not that thick <laughs> uh, i don't mind just gluing them together obviously you're gonna have all together less pages in a book once it's finished but i really don't mind that so now i'm gonna do exactly the same way on the opposite side which is here now i'm gonna use maybe some magazine cutouts uh, hannah is asleep so i hope i'm able to do some bit of funny art journaling i wanted to record yesterday and day after and day before but it was just not happening and poor Emily, I tell you, uh, thank you for all your best wishes for Emily. Do you know what happened? She had a scarlet fever, scarletina I think, which is a very common sickness um, in kids and I've never ever had that before so I had no clue. We were like shocked when we saw her within an hour or two getting rush all over her her body, face and arms and everything. It was pretty scary so we rushed uh, like... 10 p.m. I think to uh, night night doctor because we were actually scared um, with a big temperature like nearly 40 so yeah but at least now we know uh, I have my um, paints here my acrylics um, I think I can maybe put one more page together how is that maybe um, so yes it was a little bit scary I have to say so thank you so much at least we know she has antibiotics she felt right away better after even first tablet she was already feeling better after second tablet she was really good and now it's just uh, she's fine she's just less energy obviously she's she didn't eat much how much you can force the child to eat when they just don't feel for it but yeah we are on the and what we were trying to do is we were trying to keep Hannah away from Emily unfortunately we didn't want Hannah well that's what the doctor as well said we don't want Hannah to get sick so yeah now I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just lay my paint randomly in places just like that uh, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna end up what color I'm going oh, I'm gonna go with the teal color scheme actually because I see that I have some teal here so maybe maybe oh, maybe I'll use that this one is nearly finishing I love them paints those are Amsterdam acrylic paints pretty heavy body I like that I think for the price the quality is phenomenal so I highly recommend you that and I many times mentioned this to you I'm sure uh -huh. and I'm gonna just clean that okay that's enough so I have the green at least to work it and I'm thinking will I use my finger I why not and maybe also in the meantime I have this beautiful collage from magazine um, maybe in the meantime I will just simply try to add it somewhere I don't know I'm just kind of random here you know uh, I really wish to not believe but I really wish not to be too much thinking about the process that I'm doing right now so if I'm doing paint and collage at the same time why not you know that kind of attitude I have today why not we will see what we're gonna end up with because I think without uh, really experimenting we cannot know the things you know you have to kind of do things differently that you used to do that you usual that are usual for you that you are used to doing so you know even swapping the process of how you actually going ab about your um, creative process usually even changing that I think it's important so I probably usually would just go with the papers first then paint and th now you're gonna say oh what's the point because now you just covered your paint that's okay I don't know which direction I'm going 
So I, I am covering it and I'm happy with it. And be happy yourself with it, guys. So I love that. Look at that. Already looking pretty cool to me. Pretty nice. And I, the noises, if you hear, <laughs> it's my hobby. Cutting the little gifts. Uh, when you make an order in my store, and um, by the way, there will be new store opening soon. I'm gonna have a new online store. Uh, you can check it for maremismallart.com, maremismallart.com. Sign up for newsletter because there will be some some nice things uh, in the store pretty soon when it's launched. But my Lucas is cutting the gifts for you because when when you're ordering things from my store, you usually get my like printed my printed um, hand painted artwork. So. Um, actually we are cutting them ourselves, Lucas does, you can hear it. <laughs> so yeah, life, isn't it? <laughs> now I'm gonna grab my stencil, one of my stencils, if I can find it. So I'm gonna grab this stencil. Someone mentioned on my Facebook page, because I've asked you, what would you like me to record? And someone said, uh, art journaling, abstract with stencils and paint. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, mm. pretty abstract, <laughs> isn't it? I'm using baby wipe just to see what's gonna happen here. Oh, I love that now. See, sometimes it works beautifully, sometimes it's not. And that's all fine. Oh, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna try to fix this side. I don't know why is this like this. This is my stencil, by the way. If you are interested, it's uh, Maremi's stencil. I love it. One of my favorites. Well, obviously, all of my stencils are my favorite, but I like it. I like it. It's hand drawn. All my stencils are, are hand drawn my, by me, so those are my original designs. So that's nice, you know, when you have this chance. So I'm adding just a different paint. Okay, I'm gonna maybe add a little bit more. Just a little bit more on my finger. I have to say that we haven't done our journaling abstract with, oh like, I like, <laughs> oh like. <laughs> we didn't done abstract like that for quite some time, isn't it? So maybe it's nice to actually do it so thank you for that suggestion someone asked me um, a few days ago but I read the comment on it today wow someone asked me this I think it's funny and nice to ask someone asked me you cannot believe it. I, I like that, so that that question actually do you really love your projects when you say I love 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 it when you actually don't love it and my simple answer is no that I'm honestly if I'm saying I love it I truly love it uh, but when I don't love it, I think you can sense it when I don't love it, because I'm saying, I like that, okay, okay, it's fine, I'm not loving it, but I do like it, and this part, I like it, it's okay, I love this part, but this one is mm, it's okay. So, uh, I think if you know me long enough on my channel, you would know. But also, I think I am definitely over-loving my projects, and but that's purposely, to teach you. To love what you do to teach you and to show you that you can actually love your art you should be proud of it you should um, just praise yourself and not punish yourself for not being perfect or amazing as others stop comparing yourself do a be the best as you can and stuff like that so I think that's kind of the attitude I have uh, maybe I am praising too much of myself but why not I mean I deserve to be praised I think we're trying our best and that's it and I really wish you to feel the same the same oh now it's beautiful so we have this gorgeous 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 background right now nice colors I'd say nice colors nice colors I like that wow and maybe one more touch here of things wow that's I like when there's a color under there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it to dry and wash this and be back in two seconds. My next step will be to kind of 
lighten up everything slightly and I'm not using purposely white uh, acrylics but actually white gesso and that's because I really wish to make sure that I'd be able to work with my um, mediums on top and not always it's easy on acrylics so gesso could be a nice solution for that so I'm just dabbing a little bit to bring the brightness to bring everything together because I think it's maybe too much abstract maybe too much of happening so gently gently I am doing that now um, as I was saying uh, Emily is great she's much much better and the worst was actually I tell you what was the worst poor Hanita Hannah had no clue what's going on why her sister is sitting at the bottom part of the couch not really talking much to her not playing with her so she was throwing the toys to her like teddies and balls in her own way to to kind of participate to kind of make her chatting to her it was amazing to see how the smallie was actually reacting to the situation she was confused she didn't like that she was really struggling and walking around Emily and like what is wrong with my Sissy? What is wrong with my older Sissy? So it was amazing to see them both and there was no interaction but there was this interaction like uh, unwritten love that you could feel so that was nice um, yes and thankfully Hannah didn't catch the flu uh, well flu I'm not even sure how to say it uh, the fever thing uh, because it would be just so hard you know on, on, on her and on, on everyone it just when the sickness jump into the house you know yourself it's just no joy it's no fun and yeah so I am adding a little bit of white and I love that now I think it's beautiful I think it just lighten up everything it gives this lighter feel to it and I think it's gorgeous now I'm thinking to build some kind of um, abstract um, like uh, maybe like trees like like a walk in the park something like that have I have in mind uh, yet again you know me things are changing as I work I don't have a plan I have only asked you on my Facebook Marami Small Art check it out what would you like to see and now I'm reading the, the uh, your answers many is saying you wish to see altered box altered piece bottle so I promise you to do that I, I will promise I promise to do that for sure probably some steampunk as well because many many of you have been always asking for steampunk so I think it's time for some steampunk okay I'm thinking I'm thinking now that I have this house it was a bridal bar and um, it was in the bridal magazine that I have it for I'll be honest that could be like Lucas you took my my Tim Hall scissors Say something. <laughs> Give it back. Where are my Tim Holtz scissors? Um, I have this magazine for ages. I mean, ages. So I think we could actually maybe use it today. The house and make some kind of like a collage something. Okay. Thank you. My punch broke. But the hobby came to the rescue. I fixed it. It's okay. Put it. You can put it there. Yeah. Thank you. So I have this house. I have this feeling that this could be pretty nice. You know. I think magazines are great inspirations uh, if you have them around. I've said it to you many times that I don't. We don't have many magazines. We don't buy. We simply use internet and we don't buy uh, magazines as such. But you know, some I do have. Uh, so like a brighter one by accident <laughs> so um, I can use that I buy sometimes magazines like Daphne I think is it Daphne uh, I'll tell you what I buy uh, yeah Daphne I think it's this one diaries uh, Daphne's diaries I buy them no I don't buy them I bought some and that's kind of it because there's a lot of inspirations so I bought some bulk of those and I have them for my collages uh, if I feel like using it for example those are things from Daphne beautiful beautiful elements I'm not sure I like that house here at all actually okay so that's going for now but I love this flower and this is a jewelry from some other magazine those scissors are terrible I mean terrible let me just grab this now the small scissors yes I like that 
No, I think that will be much nicer now than the house. I th I think just the house doesn't sit the page. That's when I just put it up. That's how I feel it. You know, sometimes that's what happens. You just have to kind of try it and see if you have a feel for it or not. That's pretty simple. Uh huh. And the house was just not the right pick for that page. So maybe we end up with some flowers or I don't know. Okay. I like that for now. What else? Because I, I was looking for things. I love that. I really wish to use this. But I don't know how. No, maybe that's a bit too big. What else I have here? Oh, those are gorgeous flowers. Maybe some face would be nice. Or in general, less is more. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could collage that still and have it pretty, pretty have it pretty pretty or something like that or mm -hmm. I like to keep things upside down actually maybe I like I, I like that like this I don't know where where I'm going that's another gorgeous piece now you'll be saying why did you collage and then put, put it paint and then collage back again why not my answer to all of that is why not because we can that's why we do it because we can do it so, you know, layers, it's like with mixed media, layer after layer after layer, and you may end up with something pretty amazing. So, why not? I'm going to add those because I love them. I think it's beautiful. I like that, so I'm happy to add it in places. We need a bit more glue. Mm hmm Okay. That's the collage. <laughs> I like that. Now, I'm missing some faces, you know, I wish to buy maybe a magazine, like a hairdresser magazine where I will have those gorgeous faces or something, because I don't have that at home at all. Uh, I think the last face was from some mag that I used was from the magazine uh, from, I think, Avon Cosmetics, possibly, I cannot remember. So, yes, oh, I like, love that. I love, love, love that now. I'm breaking this uh, look of the paint painted page only which I don't necessarily like today because somehow I have this in my head that I wanted to collage you you mentioned paints you mentioned um, you mentioned pet stencils perfect but we can do both you know we can combine those both and be happy have a collage and a stenciling work with paint so I don't know if I what kind of composition I wish to keep here, but maybe it's too late to, th to think about it or not. I don't know. I don't know. But I will know in a minute. Okay, now. That's what we have right now, and I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. I think we could do with some more flowers from magazines if it's possible at all. Uh -huh. Actually, look what I have. I have those rice papers. Those are from my shop, actually. Uh, from my Etsy shop. Um, I'm thinking if I will decoupage it anyhow here, but I think it would be lovely. But instead of cutting, I'm going to just grab my pen, uh, hands and just and just take it out I love rice paper decoupage paper and many many of you were asking me always about it so I finally have them in shop well I have them for the last few weeks but I just never had a chance to play around and make a video about it so feel free to check it uh, there will be more more papers soon added so relax <laughs> if you didn't have a chance to get some some now and on the new website I'm gonna have the whole new selection a beautiful selection of decoupage papers I love decoupage journals I really do and I'll show you something actually um, all of my kind of favorites that I've done uh, this one is decoupage this one is decoupage um, journal which I love so all of my actually personal favorite let me grab one more if I have it here 
I'm trying to look through this stock of pages. All of my personal favorites would be the decoupaged ones. So, oh, no, that's together. I have more, but I can't find now. But yes, uh, adding, you know, beautiful image from rice paper or napkin. That's what I love talking of. Oh yes, you can see here. Or oh, here, do you remember this project? That was also decoupage. So decoupage are journaling kits. Ah, uh, it's my liking very much. So let me just let me just grab that. It's that's gorgeous. Like I mean, that is gorgeous, and I love it. And I hope to incorporate that into my project somehow. Now I'm glad that Hannah is asleep. I mean. You know, when the kids are asleep, you know that not only that they're growing and they're healthy, um, but she's gasping the energy for the afternoon. So that's good that she has a break and she's able to recharge her batteries. Now, I absolutely adore that. I'm just not too sure where to add it. Oh, that is just sensational, isn't it? Sensational. I still wish to use my, my elements from my magazines, maybe. Or not. I'll see. I'll see. How about... Is it any point of using those two? I was thinking... Hmm. Let me see. I, if I want... This is just provisionally cut. Just to see if this is any point. Any sense. Like this, let's say. And like that. Together. That could be nice. Or too much. That's nice actually too. <laughs> I love it. Maybe like this. Because I would usually go for them sides or this side. But why not to be different for a change? Now you're going to tell me why did you actually glue it everything down so nothing we can see. You know what? That's 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 all important. That's about the, 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 the whole experience of unknown and discovering things. So yes. Let me too grab transparent gesso because I love to stick my decoupage element with transparent gesso actually. So that's what I'm gonna do now. If I have a brush, some nice nice brush. Oh that's nice. So I'm gonna I love it like that, so I'm gonna leave it in the middle top part, my new favorite maybe. Why not? So I'm just gonna add a nice, a generous amount of uh, transparent gesso. So you can use Mod Podge if you wish, absolutely. I'm add it here as well because it's sticking out. Now you have to remember that. Um, uh, oh, I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to say, I don't know. Oh yes, you have to remember that uh, rice paper is thicker, uh, less delicate than the napkin. So with the napkin you have to be really m delicate and be very gentle. With the rice paper, not necessarily. You can just smush it and smush it and smush it and, and it's not going to rip apart. So that's different and I love that about the decoupage uh, rice paper. So. I love, love, love them. I'm gonna bring more them, more of them to the shop because the new shop, especially not the old one. The old one has few now, so you can have a look my, on my Etsy. As always, links are at the end of the video, under the video, and all of that, so you can have a look. Uh, but yes, I definitely will be looking into more because I know that I, I love using it. So usually, you ask me where did you get this. So bring into my shop is just the easiest option so, because I do ship worldwide. So. That kind of way. Actually, no. I'm gonna grab my gesso more, transparent gesso more, and I'm gonna just go over the the other images here. <laughs> so we have a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of painting, a little bit of magazine, a little bit of decoupage, a little bit of everything. So now what could we use? I think using maybe gelatos would be nice because I haven't used gelatos for long so maybe it would be nice to introduce gelatos to my project I'll see and some shading as always with my work I love the shading so uh, now your uh, image would be seen much better if your underneath would be white but I don't mind that I really like the semi-transparency look of it and that things are underneath it but that's again that's a very personal view look how bad I am <laughs> That's from the previous video. I never cleaned my brushes. That's bad, but I will because the, 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 the thing is too small now. <laughs> oh, how about here? Or no, here. 
Yes, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just glue this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that's beautiful. I love that now. Something different, you know. So let's dry this. Okay, I changed my mind, uh, not because I don't like gelatos or anything, but because uh, yet again trying to go back to products that I have, I haven't used for ages, and definitely you have. Some time ago there was a huge hype on those Carandache, uh, Neo Colors, water soluble uh, wax pastels. I love them, I have to say, I really love them. So I'm gonna use them today. They are quite expensive, a piece of uh, product I have to say that's why I have only 15 colors Um I'm not even sure if I uh, actually bought them or got them cannot remember to be very honest with you possibly I got them from local store some time ago could be three even I don't know but you see I rarely use it so even if you get set small like that it will last you forever uh, if you're using other things among them so I the way I like to use it I guess it's to grab the 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 the, the, the um it's it's to grab the pencil not the wax crayon and just go um maybe with, like that um that's not the color I like actually so I'm going to ch change it to this one that will probably be better to the actual yes that's the color and that's actually ideal ideal so so I'm gonna be kind of adding a little bit here and there just to make my work nice and stand out here and make my um, what's the word uh, make the, the shadowing and make the effect of uh, bringing everything together the background and the itself the beautiful um, flower now you can you know go and use the, the the wax pastels however you wish you can go directly um, but you have to remember that they are quite pigmented they're very strong so you don't want to go too much you, you want to really be careful with it because they are strong in pigments as you can tell I'm just touching like slightly really slightly and it's wow I may actually move those aside I think I have a little visitor here hello Emily hello. how are you feeling great great yeah. really great now isn't it mm, what a difference what a change so yes we're guessing that uh, Emily brought the little sickness from school which it happens of course between the kids uh, but we are happy that it's like we know what happened we know that it was this she had antibiotics oh look at the beautiful splashes that happened oh, I'm gonna oh love that pure accident but how beautiful so I'm gonna splash more uh, when I finished so um yes I'm delighted it's a pity that she missed her competition her class one uh, she missed uh, did I tell you that her class one the overall they did I don't know if I said it to you in the video previous video but they they won the 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 vex is it vex? vex vex what's that competition about would you mind telling us and well, you... there are robots and every year there's like a different game okay and you have to build a robot as a class it's fifth or sixth class mm -hmm. in our school we do fifth class okay but at the regionals there was fifth and sixth class in in at, where in the, the in the, cork in the big one no, not in the big one. Oh, in the small, okay. In the, like, first mm -hmm. one. The, okay. Just to see. A local competition, the kind of. Um, and you have to build a robot that can lift mm -hmm. or push a lot of these hub things. Okay, yes, yes. Um, Plastic elements, things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every year there's something else, though. Okay. So you can't go, oh, guys, you have to do this, because last year there was this really powerful robot. Every year there's a different game. Okay, so you can't, you don't know, rings. is it? This year there were hubs. Okay. A few years ago there was something else and something else. Oh, so okay, know. so they're changing, so nobody could get really, nobody's really prepared fully, is it? No. Okay, that's fair, I think. Um, <clears throat> your thing is about to drip at the bottom well. of your jelly. Pen. Oh, okay, thank you. 
Oh yeah, here. Onto the page. That's okay. But they won. They That's won. beautiful. Mm. Of you all won, Ireland. Yes. Of second. all Ireland? Was that of all Ireland? Yeah. Your class of all Ireland? Yeah. Wow. I thought it's only here, like West Cork, Cork area. No, it's 20. Oh. There was lo loads of schools from Ireland got through. Yeah. And then 26 or 24 schools were at the actual finals. Okay. And then our school won. What? Oh, wow. Well, that's even better. That's even bigger. Congrats. Wow. So we're very happy. Yes. Even though I wasn't there. That's but. okay. You were on the, oops, on the semi-finals. We were there as well with that and oh, Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> yes. People from my class said that Hannah should go and then pick up this big, big robot. Yeah. That we call the Beast because he's a very big robot. Yeah. And that she should pick him up and throw D him on the floor. It. And destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> destroy the competition. That's yeah. not nice. Uh, that robot was very, very good. It was indeed. But, you see... We Your class, anyway. exactly, so you never know. Um, going back to project for two seconds, as you can see, I'm just dabbing the paint around just to see what I love, where I love, what I love and stuff like that. Now, I think my next step, I think it's nearly finished by the, by the way, but I think my next step could be the black and to maybe a little bit here. Just a little bit. Wow. Mm. Thank you. You like that? Very. Oh, very thank nice. you. It's thank probably you. because I love blue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of blue. My friend Sue from UK <laughs> lo yeah, loves blue. Sue, actually, if you are in UK and you're looking for classes, for workshops, Sue Tucker is the girl to go for. For uh, life workshops, she's... Um, I was teaching there twice or three times, three times, I think. Uh, she's the go-to girl to, to um, if you want to take a life classes, workshops, because she's uh, inviting people, f beautiful artists, talented artists from all over the world, even the United States, and also you can really, if you are into it, if you're looking for some nice classes, you can... You can do that art workshops in UK actually it's called okay and now I have this gorgeous brush it's a gift from a friend of mine and those are uh, if you be asking mimic creative mark mark or hark <laughs> I don't know okay but I got the, them as a gift a few brushes so thank you so much my dear friend you know who you are <laughs> okay I'm thinking to kind of do some um, some kind of uh, oh no I know what I'm gonna do go back let's dry that put some texture and then add color okay so I'm gonna grab stencil again and I'm gonna try to do just a little bit of texture uh, somewhere in places not too much just a little bit just kind of so we have some texture happening beautiful okay how about a little bit of whoops texture here and there I like that I'm not loving it yet but I like that okay I love that now. A little bit of randomness and not too much texture on my palette. More or less, I would say it's nearly leftovers on my palettes. Nearly. I should hold my stencil better, but... Now I'm thinking a little bit more there. And that's it, because I'm afraid to destroy it. One more. I'm tempted to do one more, one more, one more. Like teensy, teensy, teensy. Yeah. Teensy, teensy. That's it. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Let's dry this. Texture is kind of ish dry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blue. 
yet again through my texture through my texture here and there and I hope that this will be nice and it will go in between the grooves of my stencil that's at least my hope <laughs> uh -huh. something like that and then I'm gonna add some black because I think it will be just lovely and I, I can't forget about my little splashes which oh no No, no, don't don't go there. Yeah, be careful because they are deadly, very much, uh, very strong pigments. So be careful. But they are beautiful. I have to say, very beautiful product. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go with a little bit of like that water. So this drips down a bit, a bit, a bit, and I hope to add some black as well and finish off my dripping oh I can even go directly like this oh and the black now I think it's beautifully finishing all how gorgeous look at that yes Hannah is back from sleepies back from sleepies she she still doesn't get the idea that I'm here hiding so that's good <laughs> Yeah, she has such she had such a good uh, last few days. She was so good, such a joy when she was so good. Even though Emily was not able to play with her, which was very that very difficult on them both and on us too. Actually, seeing that, I think it's gorgeous. I think I really mean it. I think it's beautiful, and it's nice to play with the pigment like that. Very different to what I usually do. Sorry for the noises. I think it's Hannah playing with her toys or something. With a box. With a box, yeah. With a box. Okay, and I hope to add a little bit dark there as well. Mm, I love that now. Now I will control my a little bit here. Oh, I like that. Uh huh. Mm hmm, like this. How about if I add a little bit of blue there as well? Not too much, just a little bit, just to kind of have it done. Now, it will look yet again different when everything will be dry, so mind that. Oops, mind that. Now, I like to kind of make sure that everything kind of looks as they are all one happy family you know and I think the black is bringing this nice you know nice kind of um, what's the word it's kind of bringing all together you know I think that's her new play to do throwing things into my studio here <laughs> isn't it um, all the balls and telephones and yeah and me nearly falling and breaking my legs not knowing that there is something uh, there okay no I think it's lovely like that guys have a look at that different isn't it a little different um, if I would have some other color to add will I maybe a little bit of green or is it a bit too much now because there is some green there you know whether this is this green or different green yeah just a little bit I think so now have a look have a look guys, just a little bit, just a little bit guys, just a little bit, mm -hmm. just to break that strongness of black maybe, just a little bit, now the question is why do we all do the art journaling, art journaling are for you to express yourself, to enjoy, to try your materials, to try techniques, to enjoy the magic of creating, of transforming blank page into something different and unique and it's your story to be told. So that's why we're doing art journaling, not for sale, not for others, but for us. Well, I do it for you as well because I want to teach you something, but, you know, oh. let's see not so much uh, but you know that kind of attitude I have towards art journaling actually I think I can call this finished uh, let me dry that 
I'm halfway kind of drying but I was thinking that it would be maybe nice to uh, play again with a bit of black because it's kind of not as dark maybe as I wish and go from this direction uh, with my color maybe I'll see a little bit mm -hmm. just to make my corners a little bit or a little bit more darker or much more darker mm -hmm. to have this beautiful contrasting look now Mm -hmm. I like that dark edge I'm not too sure about a bit too much here but the edge is nice and dark I love that I'm gonna definitely add a bit more there and how about here as well yes I love that now you see sometimes you are just have to go with it you love it or you like it but you can certainly go more and try to even improve what you love. So I would say that what happens now with this project. I love it, but I think there is a room for improvement and room for making it even nicer. A little bit darker there, I wish. I love how the color is drying in between, like I I dried it and I have those beautiful, um, I'm not too sure in English, zaciki, yeah, but <laughs> uh, like stains, yes, that's the word I'm looking for, stains, oh, I love that, to maybe act, to actually make the edge darker as well, oh, I love that now, very much, so here it is, beautiful. Now the other thing that I wish to do, well, maybe a little bit more there, but not, I'm saying not too much and yet I'm blobbing and blobbing. <laughs> and if you have no uh, pigment like that, of course feel free to use what you have. If you have sprays, if you have gelatos, uh, if you have watercolors, work your magic with the project products that you own, that you have already. Okay, a little bit maybe going there. I love that now. I love that. Now I love. It was a bit too bright for me. Now, what I wish to finish off this is to make a little bit of black splashes. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And of course a little bit of white splashes, I think. Okay. And some white splashes there. I think still we need some titles, I guess. Title. That would be nice. Uh huh. And nothing would be better as my, I think, stickers. <laughs> I love my stickers, so I'm gonna use my stickers. Um, what will nicely match here? Art anyone? Yeah, I like that. Art anyone? Yes, please. And I think I'm gonna get rid of those splashes here and attach it there. Art anyone and I need the this thing to help me Oops. the brush the, the the splashes were not dry that's okay art anyone yes please yes please art anyone dream I love that dream I have a dream now I encourage you to jump into uh, marimitsmallart.com uh, the website is still in a build I'm building it, I'm building it every day. <laughs> uh, so I encourage you to jump in and sign up for a newsletter because you'll be first to know if things will change and we're gonna uh, run with it. So, and maybe there will be some surprises there, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. But okay, so this is it. Art anyone? <laughs> I really hope you liked that and enjoyed this uh, art journaling collaging session. I have to dry the uh, dark edges as well. I think it was fun, interesting, different, inspirational, a bit of messy at the end I think. I'm not too sure if every stage on the way I would repeat the same way because it looks a little bit off my 
usual style, but maybe that's good. That's what we want. Uh, I really hope this was fun, inspirational and helpful and I really hope you will try your own. So thank you so much as always for watching. I'm going to finish with that and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! Bye-bye!